Hello there. Today, I want to share with you my top three tools in making remote teaching this whole distance learning process so much easier for me and my classroom. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. As I mentioned before, I want to share with you my top three tools in making this whole remote learning distance teaching process so much easier. This whole year is probably going to be a little bit bananas. So I am all about anything that I can do to make my life as a teacher a lot easier, a lot more efficient and save a lot more time. So let's jump right in. The first tool that I want to share with you is my Wacom tablet. I got this on Amazon for maybe $65, $70. It is the for CTL 4100 version. It comes with your writing tablet with your cords and it comes with the stylus that you can use to write right on here and it it projects onto my computer screen so when i'm teaching virtually on zoom um, and this would work if you're with whatever you're using to teach online this would work perfect for you and it works with the pc because i have a pc if you have a mac i'm sure it works with a mac too um, the box says it works with a mac but i don't have one so i'm not entirely sure but this has been a huge lifesaver for me um, in terms of teaching online, making notes, making, you know, showing my lessons and everything that I need. So that is my Wacom tablet. The second item, item number two, item tool number two that has made my life a lot easier is my snipping tool. So the snipping tool is totally free and it comes on your computer. Again, I have a PC and this would work on a Mac too. And all the snipping tool, the reason why I love my snipping tool is because it allows me to snip um, pictures of PDFs and basically turn them into writable documents for my students. And I'm gonna show you very, very, very quickly how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. So this is my Google slide. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a PDF that I want to use. So this is uh, a document on um, solving equations by adding and subtracting. So if I wanted to use this sheet, it's a PDF, I would open up the snipping tool. And so that's the snipping tool already done. So like I would op I would just search snipping tool on my computer and I would just click new. And then I'm going to just highlight the page, the entire page. Okay, boom. So I'm going to now save this as a, a PNG. So I'm going to call this practice problems. All right, so then I'm going to click save. Then I'm going to go over into my Google Slides. And I'm just going to get rid of this little thing on the side. So what you want to do is since I'm going to go over to file page setup, and since I want this to look like a piece of paper, I'm going to make it the dimensions of a paper. So it's going to be eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to click apply. And I'm going to just get rid of these boxes. And then I'm going to go to background. Okay. This is important because you want to set the page as background so your students cannot click on it. So I'm going to go to choose image. I'm going to browse and I'm going to look for the practice problem page that I just opened. And it's right there. It's going to open. I'm going to click done so you can see. I can click all around, but I can't move this because it's set as an image already. Now, in order for me, for my students to write on this page, all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box and I'm going to just make this smaller. I'm going to size it. And you can make this so um, there is a border color so your students can actually see the text box. So I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to click control C and then control V. So it just makes another text box exactly the same. This 
takes me all of maybe five minutes to do. And I don't, I am typically not signing this whole page. So maybe I just create text, enough text boxes for my students to like, I would maybe only do 12 text boxes. So they know I only want you to fill in these 12. And this takes me five minutes to do. It's been a huge lifesaver. And just for me, because if you have like a textbook that you're using, you can easily take a photo of the page that you want to use, upload it into Google Slides, and then, you know, make it a background, use your snipping tool, make it a background, add text boxes, and bam, they can now write on the sheet. And then you just upload it to your Google Classroom or whatever learning management system you are using. Okay, the third and final tool that has been a huge lifesaver for me are the lesson plans and resources from the pre-algebra teachers math membership. This is what our membership looks like. And I'm just going to go and I just want to show you all the things that I'm using. I use our warmups daily. So there's four of them. And again, I just use a snipping tool, add text boxes, upload it into my Google classroom. Um, we have videos to use. So these, this is our videos on, this is our video on how to add and subtract integers. So I'm just literally clicking the share button, copying the link, uploading it to Google Classroom. So my students have a teaching video um, in case they miss my live class or they need extra reinforcement, or if they come in my live class and they don't still don't understand it, I haven't, you know, extra resources to give them. We also have, um, I'm also using regularly our PowerPoints. So we have this in a PowerPoint version, if you prefer, um, or we have it in, so here's our solving equations by adding, subtracting PowerPoint. So I can just upload this PowerPoint, or again, I can just, or I can, where did it go? Oh, right here. Um, this is the PowerPoint as a PDF and I can just snip and then upload done. The other amazing resources that I have been using pretty regularly are our task printable task cards. Um, we have digital task cards, which I've, I love task cards are so much that you can do. And I just copy the link, sh make a copy for each student and boom, drop it into my Google classroom. We have um, these awesome interactive activities where they just drag and match. So boom, done. Obviously, it's not the right answer, but I'm just showing you. Again, I'm just making a copy for each of my students, dropping in a Google Classroom, and they just turn it into me, and it's so easy. And the last item that I want to show you is another one of our interactive activities that I've that I've been using a lot are our um, escape rooms. And what I love about this is that it totally looks like, so if I was going to pull up, um, let's see, let's do rates and ratios. It totally looks like a website for your students. And all they have to do is just click around. They're trying, so these are the directions and they just click and they're solving for um, you know, the problems for these rates and ratio problems, and then they're trying to get out of the escape room. These have been really fun and just really easy for me to just copy the link, boom, put it in Google Classroom, and it's done. If you would like access to any of these materials, I've included the link right below in the description box. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you would like to join the Pre-Algebra Teachers uh, Math Membership, the link, the link is right below to join us so you can get access to everything that you need. We'd love to have you inside of our community so that you can save time, save stress, and just be the best that you can be during this remote learning process. I know that it is totally bananas and we're all trying to do our best out here and we might as well have access to everything that we need to make our life as easy as possible, to make this experience as easy as possible, not only for ourselves, 
but for our students as well. Again, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'll see you next time. Bye.